Hey everyone, are you ready to unlock the full potential of your Zik subscription? Well, today I'm breaking down a simple starter guide with the top five things that you need to do right after subscribing. Oops, because Zik Analytics is a powerful software with a wide range of tools offering everything from eBay market research to drop shipping automation. But what does that mean to you? So let's break it down and make the most out of these tools. So whether you are a drop shipper or a brand owner or anywhere in between, making data driven decision is what will make your business grow. So how can you apply this to your business model? Let's explore that together. This is a straightforward guide to unlock Zik's full potential for your unique needs. All right, so let's dive in right here and have fun. So first things first, let's get the account set up. Once you log in, you will land in the market insights dashboard. Here you will find the seller settings section. So go ahead and set it up and under I'm selling on, choose marketplace that you're selling on and then select the business model. And this is very crucial. And this is very crucial because it will determine the data that we will show you in the market insights tool. So if you choose wholesale, you see products and sellers who sell their own stock, not drop shippers. But if you choose drop shipping and then you will have another option to choose a source website under I'm sourcing from. And if you choose AliExpress, for example, you will see the drop shippers and products from AliExpress drop shippers. And then if you choose Amazon or Walmart like this, you will see competitors and products from those suppliers. So whether you are a drop shipper or not, based on your criteria, you will see the right information here. I just want to note, um, I just want to know something here that to see the correct profit calculations, you also need to set the break even. Break even is the formula that deducts the eBay fees from the selling price so you can see the real profit of items you're analyzing in Zik Analytics based on the supplier price. So our default is 12.9% as eBay. But if you want to increase it, no problem. You click here in the quick settings and change the number like this and click apply. I normally put 20% just to be an extreme safe side, also to include all the taxes if you're selling in the USA. Now, let me show you an example of how it affects the results. So you hit the item finder icon anywhere in Zik where you find this icon right here with the supplier logo on it and a green check. You will know that you can use it to find a source item that matches the eBay item here. As you can see, the profit of this item, check it out. So, and then the second thing that you have to do is you have to navigate the Market Insights dashboard to explore it a little bit. Now, on the left side up here, you will see the trending eBay niche section. Here, you can find high demand niches and their revenue. With one click on the keyword like this, you will be automatically redirected to the product research tool to see the last 30 day stats and the top performing products under this keyword right here like this, as you can see here. And to learn more about the product research tool, you can watch the tutorial. You can find it here in the upper right side of the screen and play icon. So on every tool in Zik Analytics, you can find a tutorial icon on the same spot because here we want to teach you everything that you need to know to succeed. So, and then let's check another thing here. Below the trending eBay niches, you will find out the section of trending drop shippers or trending eBay sellers. It depends on your seller settings business model. And here in this section, you will have a customized database on your settings. And Zeke's goal is to provide you with lists of relevant competitors. And here you can see the seller's name, the feedback, the revenue in the last 30 days. And this icon, like the little detective icon, is an icon to scan sellers. Anywhere in Zik, you see this little icon right here, you will know that you can hit and it will scan the seller on the competitor research tool. So go ahead and hit the detective item here with me like this, and then you'll be directed to the competitor research tool. 
and where you'll be able to see the seller stats and the top selling items. And also here you can find a tutorial icon for more information. All right, so now let's go to the next section, trending eBay products here. So similar to the previous section, here the results will also be customized based on your seller settings. And if you're drop shipping from Amazon, Walmart or Aliexpress, you are getting here a list of products ready to list to your store. So go ahead, let's go ahead here and let's click the item finder icon and look, instantly we find profitable items for your store. And my suggestion is to, um, right after you join, go ahead and list all those items in your store. And here inside the item finder pop-up, you can save the items to your folder like this. So this way you can actually organize a workflow where you first find the items and then you save to a folder and then later you go ahead and list them to your store and make everything smooth. And here, this is how you create a folder like this. And here is where you can find the folders later in this section. So just a note here that you can also integrate your listing tools and bulk upload your items. I'll cover this later in this video. Don't worry about it. Also here, you can find the detective icon, which means that you can scan the sellers who are selling those items. Remember that as all the data is customized, all these items are sold by sellers who are considered your direct competitors. Now let's review here the e-commerce calendar. One of the recommended ways to squeeze a little bit more profit throughout the year is to ride on the seasonality. And this is a perfect way to start because with the e-commerce calendar right here, you can go ahead and plan what items to sell. And to make it easier for you, we have added suggested keywords for each holiday of the top selling items and niche. So now you can see here that we have 23 days until Christmas and then which is already too tight. And then here you have 70 days until Valentine's Day. So it's a good period. So all you need to do is to hit the chat icon and you will analyze the keyword. Now the chart icon means analyze. Everywhere you see on Zik, it will mean analyze this keyword or title on the product research tool. Our suggestion is to always prepare two to three months ahead of any holiday. And when it comes down to summer or winter seasons, you have a longer period to enjoy the demand. So walking through the market insights tool, using all the buttons that I mentioned and exploring all the sections, it will already help you discover a lot of useful tools, the product research tool, the competitor research tool, and the market insights itself. But it's not everything. There are more tools to use and to explore, but before we explore them, let's go ahead and explore the integrations. Remember that we saved a few items to the folder before. Well, let's see how we can automatically upload them to eBay. And this is step number three. This is the third thing that you should do. It's about integrations and product management. So talking about that, let's talk about efficiency. Here under the management panel, integrations, you can find out which listers we support. Then to automatically list the items you found, you go here on the left menu and then you find the folder icon, my products. And then here you can find all the products, folders and items that you have saved. You can create a folder, you can give it a name, you can give it a description and any necessary information that you see fit to keep things organized for you. And inside the folder, you can edit titles, you can delete items and decide which items to upload to your eBay store. You check mark here the relevant items and then you click upload selected like this or if you want to upload them all you can just uh, click here upload all now you can choose your store 
like this and then you can choose what titles you want to upload and also here as you can see you can use zik vero and trademark protection to exclude risky or vero items like this so i hope you're finding this video useful and look we're halfway through the video and i just want to say that we already discovered a lot and i know that this can feel overwhelming so if you feel like you need a short break coffee break go ahead do it come back and watch keep watching or if you want to rewatch from the beginning go ahead as well and do it remember that following these instructions right here in this video will get you the most out of zik analytics and the fourth step is to go ahead here and connect our store to the store analytics feature to learn more about your performance okay under the management panel you will find store analytics right here go ahead add your store and then here you can see your sales revenue the sell through rate rush days and top selling items by revenue you can also learn about your average selling price and this is very important because this can help you make a decision about the next items that you list and what selling price you want to target so we've covered account setup market insights integrations and now analytics are you feeling more confident about navigating zik well the tools that we haven't explored yet are the title builder, the category research, the advanced drop shipping tools such as the bulk scanner, the turbo scanner, the autopilot, the early growth scanner, and the 500 best selling items database. Now, the title builder can be found here on the left menu on this icon right here like this. And this tool is for title optimization and keyword research when you open the tool you can find a play icon on the top right side and this is a tutorial where you can learn more about how to use it and then the category research is this one right here is one icon above the title builder and the advanced drop shipping tools are under the diamond icon right here like this so talking about the advanced tools here you will find mostly drop shipping automation tools and to find thousands of items quickly like this okay now that brings us to the fifth thing that you should do which is scale your drop shipping business as they say last but not least here it is for dropshippers looking to go big zix got the tools to help you scale okay it's that simple so you want to find hundreds of items in just a few clicks say hello to the bulk scanner to the turbo scanner and to the autopilot right here as you can see here it's like having a team of researchers but without the coffee breaks okay don't believe me take a look at autopilot as an example let's find you know thousands of winning products in just a few moments like this you simply click here start new scan then you choose the name of your scan then you choose the supplier in this case can be amazon.com and then you have all these filters right here and you know what we can go for a thousand products and then you click create scan and then in no time the scan is completed and they found a thousand products just like this didn't i tell you then you click here and then you see all the filters that you selected and all the items and all you have to do is to either upload them all or select it in this case i'm going to upload them all to my lister like this exclude vero brands and exclude restricted keywords and upload items and there you have it there you have it, the top five things to do to kickstart your Zik Analytics journey. But before wrapping up, have you explored the Academy section? It's proven that users who engage with these training resources achieve better results. And why? Well, because knowledge is power in e-commerce. Just a final thought here. As you start using Zik, just remember that it's a tool designed to empower your decisions. The more you understand and apply its features, the greater your potential for success on eBay. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button, subscribe, and drop your questions down here below. Keep moving forward and see you next time.